Space is one of the most fascinating things in the universe, and even though 12 men have already landed on the moon, we still know very little about it. While the last manned lunar mission was in 1972, there are still many unmanned missions happening today. During a recent lunar expedition, China's Chang'e 4 explored the far side of the moon where no humans have walked before, and during the mission, came across an unusual discovery that appeared to be completely out of place and confused many scientists. It's been almost 50 years since the last man walked on the moon, but there have been many soft landings otherwise known as robotic missions since then, and many of these missions have come up with groundbreaking discoveries. Like China's Chang'e 4 that started off as a normal expedition, after scouring the surface of the far side of the moon, a rare discovery it made left scientists with more questions than answers. As soon as they saw the finding, they knew it was special, but they had no idea what it could be. Before diving into what scientists discovered during the expedition, please smash the like button, make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you won't miss any new stories. During the space race era, the superpowers of the world, the United States and the Soviet Union, we're competing to see who could get to space first, with the Soviet Union landing the first human-made object on the moon in September 1959, and the U.S. landing the first crew on the moon about 10 years later. But since then, people aren't heading to the moon much, yet scientists are still scouring its surface for clues about the universe. China is one of the countries that are still launching spacecraft to the moon, and the Chinese lunar expedition consists of four phases of technological advancement. The first is to reach lunar orbit, the second is landing and roving on the moon, the third is collecting lunar samples from the near side and sending them to Earth, and the fourth is developing a robotic research station near the moon's south pole. Up until now, China accomplished the first two phases of the exploration program with the Chang'e 1, Chang'e 2, and Chang'e 3. Chang'e 4 was built as a backup to the Chang'e 3, but the Chang'e 4 would go on to make history. Chang'e 4 was originally built as a backup to the Chang'e 3, the first Chinese landing on the moon. After Chang'e 3 landed successfully on the moon in 2013, Chang'e 4 was adjusted to meet new scientific and performance objectives. It consisted of a lander, a rover, and a relay satellite. Following these adjustments, China's Chang'e 4 was ready for takeoff, and it was launched towards the moon on December 7, 2018, before entering lunar orbit a few days later on December 12, 2018. The spacecraft's mission was to determine the age and composition of an unexplored region on the moon, and it was about to make a historic landing. On January 3, 2019, the spacecraft became not only China's first soft landing on the far side of the moon, but the first in the world to land there. The accomplishment was historic and impressive. Congratulations to China's Chang'e 14 for what appears to be a successful landing on the far side of the moon. This is a first for humanity and an impressive accomplishment, NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine tweeted. So, what's so exciting about landing on the far side of the moon? Well, the moon has been orbiting Earth for over 4.5 billion years, and during this time Earth's gravitational pull has forced the moon's rotation speed to cinch with its orbit causing the moon to rotate on its axis and orbit Earth once every 28 days. This means that the same side of the moon always faces Earth, and we can't see the far side from the planet's surface. And until now, it's a territory that was yet to be explored. We know the far side from orbital images and satellites, but we don't know it from the surface. It's uncharted territory, and that makes it very exciting, Martin Weiser, a scientist at the Swedish Institute of Space Physics and principal investigator on one of the instruments on board Chang'e, told The Guardian. Because we only see one side of the moon, it's believed that the far side is different than the side that faces us, but it's never been explored. Why hasn't anyone landed on the far side yet? Maintaining communication with Earth during a far side landing is difficult because the moon blocks radio contact, cutting the spacecraft completely off from humankind. However, the Chang'e 4 worked around this issue with a relay satellite. Even still, radio signals needed to cross a greater distance, resulting in the round-trip communications delay being lengthened. And any far side lander or rover, including the Chang'e 4, needed to choose its landing site and avoid hazards without any help. On January 3, 2019, the Chang'e 4 landed on the Von Karman crater within the moon's South Pole Aiken Basin. 
The basin covers nearly a quarter of the moon's surface. Twelve hours after the landing, the U-22 rover was deployed and immediately started tracking across the lunar surface. The rover snapped photos, hoping to capture anything that could be scientifically significant. Scientists would eagerly check the photos for anything that looked out of the ordinary, but it would take months before they found something worthwhile. After landing on the far side of the moon, U-22 would take a daily nap to protect itself from the midday sun before shutting down for the day. During the rover's nap time, scientists on Earth would analyze the photos for any detail that stuck out. But most of the time they came back with nothing more than a lot of dust known as lunar regolith, which most of the moon's surface is covered in. That was until one photo came back revealing something scientists hadn't seen before. July 28, 2019 was like any other day, with the rover snapping photos and sending them back to Earth. But before the U-2 2 powered down for its daily nap, one of its handlers on Earth noticed something strange in one of the panoramic images the robot took of the moon. Something caught the handler's attention, causing him to take a second look something didn't seem quite right, and it was unlike anything he had seen before. After obtaining data from U-22 in July 2019 and taking a closer look at the photo one of the handlers, Yu Tianyi noticed that inside a small crater there was a strange colored substance that had a gel-like consistency. The material looked different than its surroundings and it contained bright spots which caught the handler's attention. But what was it? As soon as U-22 handler Yu Tianyi discovered the gel in the inner edge of the impact crater, he contacted mission scientists who decided the discovery was too good to ignore. And so they decided to postpone the rover's planned route and change their focus to examining the crater and the gel-like material they found inside of it. Still knowing what exactly they had revealed, news of the rare finding was about to be released to the public. News of the strange substance appeared on the Chinese-language website Our Space as part of U22's Drive Diary and in the state-run newspaper People's Daily. U22 rover, part of China's Chang'e 4 mission, has discovered an unusually colored gel-like substance during its exploration activities on the far side of the moon, People's Daily tweeted. With the release of the discovery, all sorts of speculations were made and the newspaper challenged its readers to get involved in figuring out what the mysterious substance could be. After the announcement of the mysterious material was made, the scientists still needed to figure out what it was and the researchers continued to analyze it, hoping to find answers. These unanswered questions led to people all around the world making speculations about what it could be. The Chinese state-run newspaper People's Daily even asked the public to get involved, tweeting mission scientists are now trying to figure out what the mysterious material is. What do you think it is? With no further updates following the official announcement of the mysterious gel like finding, people around the world started speculating about the nature of the material. But there was one likely explanation it wasn't actually gel. While the discovery looked a lot like gel, it could actually just be shiny melted glass created when a meteorite struck the moon. And before long, scientists around the world started agreeing with this likely explanation. Could the material be glass created by a meteor striking the moon? Mayesh Anand, Vice President of the U.K. Astronomical Society and Planetary Scientist at the Open University, also believed that the substance could be glass. The scientist told Newsweek that while there is very little to go on, the material is likely volcanic glass. The fact that it has been observed associated with a small impact crater, this finding could be extremely exciting, as it would indicate that a very different material could just be hiding underneath the very top surface he told the news outlet. This would assume even a greater significance if these materials turn out to have experienced interaction with water ice, Anand continued. Like Anand, Walter Freeman, a physicist from Syracuse University, thought the substance could be glass created by the force and heat of a meteor hitting the moon. He told Newsweek that the substance could be lunar dust that melted into glass after the meteor. We have lots of processes on Earth that cause interesting geology, the action of water, wind, and volcanism. But the moon has none of these, so meteorite impacts are the main thing that reshapes its surface," Freeman shared with the news outlet. According to physicist Walter Freeman, an outside source like a meteor hitting the moon was likely the cause of the lunar glass object. The force and heat caused the mysterious substance. There's a bit of precedent for this on Earth. At the site where the first nuclear bomb was tested in New Mexico, there is a glassy mineral called trinitite formed from the heat of the explosion. The same thing happens around meteorite impacts here, Freeman told Newsweek. 
With more questions than answers and tons of speculation about what the gel-like substance could be, experts started considering previous discoveries on past lunar missions. And while looking at past lunar missions, they came up with something promising this wasn't the first odd patch of color found on the moon. During the most recent manned mission, which was almost 50 years ago, the astronauts returned with a strange discovery. The past discovery would finally give scientists answers about what Chang'e 4 found, in 1972, during the Apollo 17 mission, which was the most recent manned mission to the moon, when the astronauts returned to Earth, their cargo included an unexpected discovery orange soil they found on the moon. Astronaut and geologist Harrison Jack Schmidt scuffed the surface of Shorty Crater revealing orange soil, and the crew brought back a sample of the mysterious substance to Earth to be further examined by researchers. What was it? The discovery was even captured by Schmidt in photographs, but during his excitement, most of the images ended up getting blurred. Luckily, his commander Eugene A. Cernan captured a clear picture with a color scale, and after hearing about the discovery, fellow crew member Ronald E. Evans found and photographed orange patches on the moon from his orbiting spacecraft. Now that they found the orange soil, what could it be? NASA was about to step in and they were shocked by the discovery. Apollo 17 astronauts brought the orange soil back to Earth and researchers immediately began investigating it. NASA was able to determine that the orange soil was the result of a volcanic eruption that took place almost 4 billion years prior. Can you believe it? The orange soil was a remnant of a fire fountain that sprayed molten lava into the lunar sky during the moon's early days and the orange volcanic beads were droplets of molten lava from the fountain that solidified and were buried by lava deposits. After much speculation and looking at past lunar discoveries, in August 2020, scientists in China were finally going to reveal the answer to what the substance was, and it turns out that they weren't too far off from what they originally thought. Gu Sheng and colleagues who analyzed data from U22's cameras and the rover's visible and near-infrared spectrometer, VIS, determined in their article in the Earth and Planetary Science Letters Journal that, as expected, the substance was made up of rock. The authors of the article described the material as a dark greenish and glistening impact melt breccia that measured 20 inches by 6 inches. The features are signs of the possible presence of glasses, which usually occur after volcanic eruptions or impact melts. According to the paper, the breccia, a broken fragment of minerals cemented together, was formed by impact-generated welding, cementing and agglutinating of lunar regolith and breccia. But that's not all they concluded the breccia resembled the lunar impact melt returned by past Apollo missions. The experts were onto something when they started looking at discoveries from past lunar missions, especially NASA's Apollo missions. But instead of being interested in the orange soil, the authors of the article were interested in another discovery that astronaut and geologist Harrison Jack Schmidt made on the Apollo missions. China's Chang'e 4 made history as the first landing on the far side of the moon where no humans have walked before, and its discovery of a gel-like substance was groundbreaking, revealing mysteries about the moon and we can't wait to see what other lunar discoveries are made in the future.